Good people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, today we are going to look at the market. There are a couple of things that are uh, I'm pretty sure bothering you guys that is silver and uh, gold and platinum. We'll look at uh, gold and silver and we'll try to reach an, an analysis. Uh, we'll definitely get going to discuss the stock market in the US which includes the Nasdaq uh, 100. Then we'll discuss Dow Jones 30. We'll also look at an S&P 500, FTSE 100, uh, Tesla gold and silver and then you look at crude oil and bitcoin uh, there's some pretty nice things going on in all these stock markets so let's start all right first thing that i uh, mentioned last week is that we are about to reach the end of the the move that actually started right from the top and that st analysis still say stays same we uh, this is the daily chart I'm expecting that we're going to see some price movement downward further down and that will be the end of the uh, the price movement that actually started all the way from the over here. The labeling is in detail. We have wave 1 and 2, wave 3 and 4 and then right now we are going through wave 5. I'm expecting that it's not going to be a stronger wave further down. Uh, somewhere around 10,750, 760 is our target for um, SN NASDAQ 100 and after that uh, the prices are expected to create a correction. What sort of correction is expected? I'm expecting there's supposed to be uh, kind of a flat correction. We can go up right over here, come down and go up right over here too. This is our initial uh, analysis for it. So be really careful because we have seen a similar uh, kind of similar kind of uh, behavior. So you can see something like this after the maybe uh, after the mid of the week or when we reach this target, we can start something like this. Uh, this does not necessarily has to be a flat correction. There are time there is the possibility that we can actually see a double zigzag pattern. In which case, we will have a first zigzag correction, another zigzag, which will keep the prices in a very deep area. So we need to be really careful. Uh, how you want to trade is up to you. That's actually my analysis. This thing is, we have already completed this blue wave one and two, wave three and four. This blue one, and we are right now about to be completing wave fifth. In fact, we are in the wave 5 of wave 5 right over here too. That will be completing wave 1 and after this wave 1, we will be able to complete wave 2. So this is the analysis for uh, NASDAQ 100. Dojont is exactly going through the similar uh, behavior. Uh, we have uh, completed wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. And right now we are going through wave 5. We have completed wave 1 and 2 of 5. 3 is complete, wave 4 of 5 is complete and right now we are going through wave 5. We have completed some price movement, but I'm expecting some further price movement downward is expected. And I'm expecting 29,700, 29,600 is our potential target for uh, for Dow Jones 30. After that, definitely will this will be a wave one, uh, and that will be the uh, end of the wave that actually started right from top. So as you guys can see, it's quite a long of period of time. After that, we're expecting a good price movement correction right over here too. In case the correction decides to go right and meet in wave 2, in that case we are expecting the price to go all the way over here. So be really careful in these corrections. S&P 500 once again is showing a similar pattern that we have in, in front of you. So uh, we are going to complete uh, price behavior somewhere around target is expected to be somewhere around 3620. That will be completing our fifth wave, five wave structure that actually started from over here and over here too. This will become wave 1 and after that we'll start wave 2. Once again a couple of possibilities that we're looking at is either a flat correction or a double zigzag correction that we're looking at. Now um, UK stock index is a little different. We are uh, quite far behind uh, as far as the labeling is concerned. There's a lot of left, a uh, lot of price movement is left so we're gonna discuss it. Give me a moment. Okay, here it is. Let me see the favorable time frame. Now, we have seen some nice behavior. First of all, that we can see that pr when prices jumped up. When prices jumped up, we definitely see that we have seen uh, prices to reach this, this area. So, this is very good. We can now delete that area. This dub is done right now. For only time frame, we have completed wave 1. And wave 2 right over here, this green one, I'm expecting that this whole price movement is wave 3. Uh, this is a little change in the labeling for it. So this whole price movement is wave 3. Within we have completed wave 1 and 2, wave 3 and 4 and 5. 
so this green wave 3 is complete let me see where the label is here is the label and wave 4 is complete too but I'm expecting that wave 5 is going to be a little stronger in this case we're expecting wave 5 to continue further down right over here too within wave 5 we have only completed wave 1 and 2 this is wave 1 and 2 is complete I'm expecting a further price movement downward let's dive in to see so I'm considering this whole price movement is smaller wave 1 and 2 a 3 and 4 and a 5 this wave completed this wave 1 of 5 right now we I think we have completed wave 2 of 5 so we're expecting further price movement downward so we are a little bit in a different um, labeling uh, as far as uh, FTSE is concerned so I'm expecting still that the, we are expecting prices to fall further down good thing is that prices has gone up we have completed this correction we have completed a, f a smaller five wave structure and a correction as well which gives, gives us a very ideal trading setup for FTSE Tesla is uh, supposed uh, to be very very close to the completion of the five wave structure that actually started all the way right over here and uh, within the fifth wave that we have we have wave one and two and three and four four wave four is pr uh, more most possibly a triangle and we have a little price movement left in wave five I'm not expecting a stronger price movement downward I'm expecting that we shall be uh, seeing our bottom somewhere around 600 all right this is our target and after that you'll definitely expect for the prices to go up and uh, once again this is a deeper price action that we have seen every time we have seen if you look at it we have, wave 2 has been quite deeper wave 4 has been quite a deeper so this is going to be interesting if we can actually when prices when the corrections start we can actually clear this area we are looking for deeper price movement in in Tesla so after this uh, wave 1 is complete or a five wave structure is complete if you are looking for a three wave structure uh, once again as I mentioned in my previous week analysis that a short squeeze is expected by the end of sometime next week I would say by the mid to the end of the it is expected to start and then how far it can go definitely you'll have to uh, look for the the price behavior for that now comes the the gold and uh, gold is uh, I am not liking the analysis of the gold and I'm going to leave it alone personally as far as labeling is concerned I mean I'm going to leave it alone as far as trading is concerned the reason is simple because the price action that we have seen recently has, has been very very choppy and I wanted to show you guys something similar behavior that we have seen right over here so this is a daily time frame this is uh, way back in the beginning of uh, the price movement that we have seen in uh, September 1999 we had a very good impulsive move and after that look at that how choppy the price action has been so uh, we are seeing kind of similar behavior in in, uh, in gold right now so I'm going to as far as analysis is concerned I'm definitely going to present the analysis for you guys first of all uh, let's have a look and that what is the possible uh, thing that we have in terms of support and resistance I'm going to delete these so I can give you guys some clear picture we can delete that so the major target right now for this price movement the bearish price movement is definitely around 1675 which is the bottom of the previous move that we have seen and gone up and then so this is the major target 1675 how is it going to reach it is is a, a matter of discussion we are going to definitely discuss it uh, right now as far as uh, labeling is concerned we definitely think that we have completed wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 is complete so we are right now going through wave 5 uh, we definitely need and I can I can guide you one thing whether this is where this is going to complete we are going to take it a 2 3 day analysis and then look into it we will gonna analyze for 2 3 days and then look into it one thing I wanted to help you through is that I'm not looking for waiting for uh, prices to go all the way down right over here this is not something I'm expecting in gold and silver uh, I'm expecting that we are to create a bottom soon how soon is gonna be we are if the prices are getting really choppy we'll have to wait for a bit so this thing I'm looking for is if you are an investor if you are an investor I'm going to wait a little more uh, in fact I was looking at the commodity um, these commodity um, stocks itself like GDX the miners yeah the miners I was looking at the miners and miners seems to be very weak as compared to gold the price of gold and silver so I think that for the foreseeable future we are gonna see 
choppy price action till we actually reach the target right over here too. But I'm not expecting that the price will continue all the way down over here and you're creating a bearish trend right over here. So I'm expecting I'm going to personally wait for the uh, for the trading setups. If you get a nice trading setup, definitely I'm going to decide for it. Right now, I'm expecting prices to go further down and create a behavior something like this. There's a also a possibility that we won't reach at the bottom. In that case, we need to clear the uh, small time frame analysis uh, resistance points. We have this resistance point. Just give me a moment and we'll be discussing uh, what exactly structure I'm seeing. I'm of the uh, opinion that we have completed wave 4. I'm not of opinion that wave 4 is going on. I'm of the opinion that we have completed wave 4. And whenever the bottom comes in, we are going to complete wave 5. So that's come clear. These two points that are you are seeing, 1848 is one of the uh, target when price clears that, that will be indication that a bottom has been made. Or if you want to be more careful, then you can wait for the break of 1880. Right now, uh, on an hourly time frame, we can see that the price action, after we have seen in a stronger price movement downward and a, a correction, the price action has been very, very choppy. Uh, for example, you can see we have came down and a deep price movement, we came down and deep price movement, we another came down, another deep price movement correction. This behavior is going to continue, I think, for the foreseeable future. As I said, that we're going to look, uh, I'm going to keep looking at gold uh, every two, three days and then I keep going to analyze it. Right now, uh, there's a possibility that we are looking for bearish price movement and then some deeper price movement in gold, something like this is expected. There is also possibility when this happens, we can actually see side price movement or ac this one actually can go a little further deeper in this area. One of the possibilities happen. And then once again, till the actually price goes, let's uh, let's say this one. Till the price can actually cross 1857, I'm going to be bearish on gold and silver, both of them. Let's have a discuss uh, silver. Now silver has broken an important support zone. I mean, definitely can look at that support zone. Right over here too. Not only silver, but platinum has also broken uh, an important support zone area. And we can see that the price has gone down further quite a bit and there is no quick reaction. I think that this behavior is expected to be continuing just like gold we have seen. So I'm going to keep an eye on gold and silver both once again. I'm not expecting that we are going to see a longer, uh, let's say six months to a year <coughs> price moving all the way down over here. I'm still considering that this is part of the correction that actually started right from the top over here. I'm not considering that this is something and that we have started an impulsive wave from the top and we are going all the way down over here. So we have to wait a little more on the data and it, when this choppy price action actually changes, we'll be able to bring more data, uh, we'll be able to analyze more clearly. So right now what we can do is we can clearly see that wave 3 and wave 4 are complete and right now we are going in wave 5. We are not sure where exactly wave 5 is going to be completed uh, and once again I'm pretty sure as per my analysis that we are not starting an impulsive leg further down creating a uh, intermediate uh, bearish trend for a year or so so we are in the middle of the correction we are, we are very close to the completion of correction I cannot give you in timeline uh, the, uh, the the price structures that I was looking at have broken right now so for gold and silver, I'm going to give look at it for two, three days, analyze, then wait for it, what's happened, then look for it two, three days, and then give an analysis. And I've already in indicated to you guys there's a high possibility of a very, very choppy price action that we have seen right over here. We're going through something like right, right over here too. So this is very, very tough right now to analyze a market which is this much choppy. Let's have a look at um, crude oil and see how crude oil is behaving. Now we have seen a uh, good price movement. Crude oil has expected uh, moved exactly as we were th thinking. It went a little deeper than we thought, but we have seen a good price movement down. So right now I'm thinking that we have completed wave one and two right over here, this black one. Wave three is complete and wave four is complete. Within the wave five, I believe that we have completed wave one right over here. And right now we are going through wave two. As soon as wave two completes, we are expecting for the price to fall, fall further down. 
there and we are expecting to create a new low right over here somewhere around 85 so there's a high possibility of it happening if it does not hit 85 then definitely 92 is a very clear price target for us so I, I'm bearish on crude oil I'm um, definitely uh, looking for a U-turn to be made in the stock market and I'm looking for a choppy price action on the bearish side for gold and silver. the price action is not going to create a, some strong trend I'm expecting it's going to be deep price actions away from price movement and then deep price corrections now that's a choppy, choppy price action uh, but that will be headed towards the bearish side let's have a look at uh, Bitcoin we did see uh, Bitcoin price movement going up and I did made a forecast this price movement has surprised me I won't say sur surprised me uh, this was part of our analysis we're considering that the price would actually continue to form over here instead we have seen an impulsive move and a correction the question here is that the price behavior that we have seen is indicating that the correction is not complete probably this correction that actually started there's a high possibility that this is only one leg of the correction from the behavior that we have seen if this was to continue would say that the correction completed over here but we can see that we it went up and then we have seen a deeper price movement so I'm right now considering that the correction actually started from over here is only one part of the major of the whole correction it means that we are going to spend uh, quite a few time right over here and then fall down right over here we're gonna spend quite a bit of time in here and it is going to be interesting uh, to see next week too because we are going to see uh, a bottom being we are expecting a bottom being formed in uh, Nasdaq as well so we'll see if Bitcoin can kick back in and we can see some positive flows in Bitcoin uh, as part of my previous analysis I told you guys there's the I'm looking for this particular behavior I'm expecting that this correction actually started from over here is complete right right from over here what follows after this is either we are going to see wave X or we, we have an impulsive wave in both cases we are expecting for the prices to go in this region which is around right over here too and then it's going to be really nice I'm impulsive uh, I'm uh, bullish on cryptocurrency and let's see how it opens up uh, and we're going to wait for some further price action to give us some indication so uh, I hope that I was able to present some analysis and help you guys if any of you want guys want to support me come join me on my patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash Elliott wave green Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.